absolutely enthralling race, all beginning with Raffaele Marciello on pole position. But the championship battle was the fascination from the start. Nick Foster was lining up third on the grid. Patrick Niederhauser fourth and Martin Kodric a little further back on the grid in the Lamborghini. Straight away, Marciello took the advantage, but the drama kicked off going through the first few corners, just as it had done yesterday. They got further than in Saturday's race, but not by much. Coming out of turn nine, up the back straight, there was contact between a sideways Aidan Reid and Daisuke Ito. Ferrari and Porsche are old rivals in sports car racing history and contact made putting both out of the race. The Ferrari crippled, limped back to the pit lane, but the Kraft Bamboo Racing Porsche was stranded by the side of the road and that was going nowhere. It meant the safety car had to be deployed and it was a lengthy operation to get the car out of harm's way and get the circuit clear. Battle rejoined after the safety car period. Fights raging on. Adley Fong had got roughed up early doors and he was roughed up again as he tried to fight back around the outside of Florian Strauss. He ran out wide. That let Hiroshi Hamaguchi go past, almost giving as well Shea Davis the chance to pounce in the Porsche. The Hamaguchi Mapelli Lamborghini was on a mission, but then out wide ran Patrick Niederhauser, possibly contact from Alessio Piccariello, and damage down to the back of the Mercedes. It limped to the pit lane, and the Gripper M car was a retirement on the spot. Jordan Pepper was going strongly in number six Bentley. It was off the road, bounced Florian Strauss as the pit lane window opened. An early stopper had been Martin Codrich to give way to Dennis Lind. And then as the pit stops unwound, it was Sandy Stuvik that took over the Porsche from Shea Davis. Dennis Lind was on track just ahead of Nick Foster. They were on different laps, the Ferrari yet to pit. When it did, it did not serve the extra 15 seconds for winning yesterday's race. It got called in for a stop-go penalty to make up the difference, and it didn't do it. It stopped and went, but didn't do the time. Dennis Lind was looking ever more secure as the champion, therefore, as he came up to make the move against 37 Audi. But Anthony Liu stuck out his elbows. Only when the traffic got in the way was Dennis Lind able to pounce. And it was brave stuff going three wide up towards turn 14. And then the leader, Alexander Matchell in strife. The car slowed right down coming out of turn three, parked by the side of the road, briefly rejoined, but ground to a halt once again. And that gave Dennis Lind the race lead, the race win, and the championship to go with it. In contrast, because of the extra two pit stops, number 27 Ferrari had to make it finish 10th as Dennis Lind and Martin Kodrich took the race win and the championship win ahead of Anthony Liu and Alessio Piccariello. And they were just 0.291 of a second up on Manuel Metzger and Roloff Browns in third place. Winners at Ningbo, Dennis Lind and Martin Kodrich. 2018 Block Pan GT Series Asia champions, Dennis Lind and Martin Kodrich. At their feet, the champagne sprays, and this a very sweet moment for Dennis Lynn, for Martin Kodrich.